the after end, we do the same thing. We slide our plank along the bench. Now when we have the plank clamped up on the boat, we mark the transom, which I'll just mark it through on the other side, because obviously it's that point that we want to be half the plank thickness. So working away from there, 16 inches, start there, half down, halfway down on the transom. And the same there, 16 inches away. So we'll clamp that just overhanging the edge of the That's our transom. That's about it. We can tweak it finally when it's on the boat. Just run our thumb along it, make sure there's no lumps and bumps. Now we just need to turn our plank over and do the same the opposing side. So that's our transom mark. That's where we run out to nothing. Let's see which plane is going to work for us this way. that. So we've planed the bevel on our plank below, we've planed the Gerald's on our next plank. It's now a question of just fitting the two together really. Sometimes it goes really easily, sometimes you're there scraping and planing and tweaking for, for a while, but um, we'll see what happens. our plank in. Uh, obviously at this stage the ends of our half laps and, and where we've planed them away are quite vulnerable to damage so we've just got to be a bit careful with what we do to them. But the, the main thing is to get the, the plank curved and more or less in place and then to go back round and nudge it and tweak it into the right position. Tap it forward, tap the front down, trim the front and all that sort of business. We're working away steadily without trying to force it anywhere it doesn't want to go or hitting it too hard. That's our plank roughly in place. Now we can just come along and check the overlap. Three and a half inches there. Well, it needs to be two and three quarters, so we can tap that down to there. And just put a clamp there to hold it in position. This is where we're going to check our half laps, both inside and outside see what we need to shave away. It's handy here, a piece of old plank cut away to sit over our half lap. And clamp that in place. And just use that as a bit of persuasion to get our plank down where it needs to go. The danger here is that this top edge is going to get caught so it always pays just to trim that away a 
like that just to so it's not going to get caught and split that's the most vulnerable part of the plank at the moment you can see there it's, it's pretty much down in that half lap the inside's looking pretty reasonable this may not be a traditional boat building tool but I'm sure if boat builders had had them 100 years ago they'd be using them and it's really handy just for getting rid of little bits of wood that you don't want Gone. So we've got a little bit of a gap there, our plank needs to come forward, just checking inside. It's fairly good on the half lap. Checking whether it's flush with our stem, it, it wants to go in at the bottom a little bit. So one of the half laps probably just needs a millimetre shaving off. I'll just give them a tap forward. You can tell when the plank is touching the stem because the note of hitting it with a hammer changes. It's touching the stem now. Now our wonderful little orange saw is pretty handy because we can, it's got such a fine blade, we can just run that up the joint and effectively crash the joint a millimetre at a time. It's cheating really, but it works. I just need a new blade. We obviously have to be careful not to go too deep, we just need to go deep enough to cut away the, the timber, but not to put a big saw cut into the stem. So another tap forward. And another whiz with the saw. and we're getting close to having a good fit. The alternative to the, to the little saw is to take the plank off, shave away with a plane or a chisel, put it back, try it again, a little bit more, on and off, on and off, on and off. So that cuts the time down by at least half. What we want to do now blow all the muck away, just check that that's nice and flat, and the same with the stem. Clean out the debris. Now when we had this in, we felt the half laps were a bit thick. And you can see there that it's picking up on the half lap before the rest of the plank is touching the stem. So we just need to shave away that, just try it again. That's looking better. So just checking the fit of the, all the different parts of our plank. It looks like we need to trim a little bit more off the top edge at the front there. And also we've got a, a slight gap 
on our half lap on the inside. Our planks there. Just going to take the shaving off. Gives us a good fit there. And a good fit inside. So I think we'll just clamp that there for a second. We'll run our saw up to the Mark the positions of our nails. It's not traditional, but I do tend to glue the ends of the planks. Um, it started mainly to try and seal the end grain of the timber because uh, a couple of boats I built ended up with the planking going black around the water line where water had got in to the end grain of the plank. So I just use um, a foaming polyurethane adhesive on the edge of the plank and a little bit on the back just to help hold it all in place. If you have to repair the boat at some point in the future it's not the best glue in the world so it's going to come apart but it does just help hold it there and seal the end grain of the planking. Just a bit of glue on the end grain smear on the rest. It's going to keep a bit of pressure on our plank downwards. Looks like it's just tight on that top corner. So we just snick away a little bit of that. Flaps all right. Yeah. Make sure we're in the right sort of position on the mould here. That just needs a little tap down in a minute. We just need to tighten up the front. There's our plank in place. We can drill the holes, put the nails in and then work our way backwards.